friends and welcome to Upside in Soft. Recently, I had to integrate Google's user messaging platform, UMP, in many of my Android Studio apps for collecting consent for GDPR. And I thought that I should make a video while working on my remaining app so someone else who is getting that pink warning on their AdMob screens can be helped. As you can see that my Pass the Parcel app is showing the consent form. But the first clarification is that not everyone needs to do this. You only need to show this consent form if you show ads in your app and your app is available for users in UK and EEA. EAA stands for European Economic Area and you can get the list from here that what countries are in EAA. The process is quite simple and I will show all the steps in front of you. However, it does require some development experience in Android Studio. The steps are create GDPR message in AdMob, integrate Google's UMP SDK in your apps code in Android Studio, Optionally test your consent form. First thing is to make the GDPR message. Open up AdMob. My pink warning here that might be coming for you has disappeared. So there will be a red button with that saying create your GDPR message. Either press on that or press on this privacy and messaging button. Okay, I'm going to come here and I'm going to click on manage. And here, get started with European regulations, okay? So I'm going to click here, but as you can see that I have a GDPR message already created, okay? But I'm going to show you the entire process by creating a new message, okay? So what is actually required? You need to have a privacy policy for your app. The URL should be the same as the one that you have given in your Play Console in app content, okay? So I will show you from where you can get that if you have forgotten your privacy policy, okay? And then we have these developer guides. So let me click on that and click on the Android version and open this up and we will follow this development guide after creating our message. So coming back to here, so I'm going to click on get started here and we are back to the same screen from where we started. So I'm now going to just click on create message, okay? And you might arrive on this screen by pressing that red create GDPR message button, okay? With that pink warning on the AdMob screen, okay? So this is just for me, this information. So I'm going to make it Phonix one because that is the name of my app, but this is just for me. This app name will be filled up by the SDK. Let's look at how it looks in portrait mode. Okay, so you have an idea and this is in the landscape mode and then you have to select the app. So I'm going to choose my Phonix One app. Okay, press confirm, but before confirming, make sure that you have provided the privacy policy URL that you also provided in your app content. And in case if you have forgotten it, then you can go to your dashboard, Google Play Console, and if you go down, click on app content and press on action. And here is the privacy policy. So you can copy it from here and then go back and then click on edit and then paste it here, okay? But I already have it here, so I don't need to do that. Just click on confirm. Now your app's name should be coming here. Now the next thing you need to do is that all of this will stay on, but we are going to choose do not consent to be off, okay? And close should be off too, because we want the user to give us the consent to use their personal data. If the user does not give us the consent and he has the option of closing the dialogue, because if I turn it on, then I had the cross button here. We don't want that. And we also don't want this option to be visible here that he can press the button of do not consent. We don't want that too. The reason for that is that if he is able to close the dialog or press the do not consent button, then we will not be able to earn that much revenue limited ads will be shown to the user. So we want the user to give the consent. And for that, these two drop-downs 
should have the off option, okay? In styling, we can change the look of this dialogue, okay? So we can, you know, make it suit the theme of our app if we want. I'm going to just let it stay the same. And in targeting, we are going to continue with the default setting. That is, we want the consent form to be shown only in the countries that are subject to GDPR. We don't want it to be shown everywhere. So keep it this way, okay? And then make sure that you press on the publish button. I'm going to click on OK here. So make sure you publish the message. So this is super important. So my Phonix One GDPR message has been published and now I am going to integrate it in my app's code. So I had opened the guide, remember? So this is for Google Mobile Ads SDK Android and this is how to integrate the user messaging platform. I will also give this link in the video description. So open up Android Studio and choose the view mode to be Android here. I find it to be much clearer for me to find stuff, okay? And the first thing that you need to do is that always whenever you are making any change to your code, you have to increase your version code. In your Android manifest.xml, I'm going to increase it to 71 and this is 7.1. Okay, the next thing is that if I go to my guide again, the guide that was provided by Google, I'm not going to go here because this guide is only for telling you how to show ads in your app. So I'm assuming that you already have ads from AdMob showing in your app, okay? So next thing is that we want it to be Android API level 21. So coming back to your code, in your app level build, dot gradle file if i go up my minimum sdk version is 21 so make sure that it is 21 and not something less than that okay otherwise the app will not build okay let's go back to our guide and we need to copy this implementation from here and come back here i already have the dependencies here so in case you do not have the dependencies area here then copy the, paste the entire thing. In my case, I need to remove the redundant dependencies bracket, okay? So this is the implementation for the user messaging platform. And the next thing that you need to do is that you have to make sure that your Google Play Services ads is the latest. So I'm going to change it to 22.6.0 because that is the latest version. Okay. After all this has been done, you have to sync your Gradle files because they have been changed. So sync them. So it has been synced. So now the next thing is that I need to find out in which activity am I initializing the mobile ads. So how can I do that? If I come to this folder Java and I click on it and I click on the package and I right click on it and choose find in files and I'm going to do mobile ads dot initialize. This way I'm going to find out where I have to make the changes in my code. So just double click on it and this is the place where I need to make the changes. So what I'm going to do is I am going to remove this part, okay? So this entire part relating to mobile ads, I'm going to remove this part and replace it by a method or function call that I still need to write. So this is show consent form. And as you can see, it is in red color now because it is telling me that there is no method with this name here. Let's go back to our guide and go down. Skip this part, skip this part and come to this part where it says request ads, okay? So this is the part that interests us, okay? And here you can see that we have two private variables, so I'm going to copy them. Copy the two private variables, come back to the activity in which you were actually initializing your ads, go up. So just paste it here, okay? So I pasted the two private variables. Now all of them are red because I need to import the classes for them. So I'm going to use the shortcut option return for MacBook. 
just import all the classes, required classes. Now the private variables are done. Go down and just before the activity finishes, the last curly bracket, write down private void show consent form. That's the method that we have to create. Okay. Now we have to put some code in it. So let's go back to our guide and now start copying from here. So here where it says create a consent request parameters object, start copying and go down, down, down until we reach the second last curly bracket before this method's definition starts. Okay. So here till here. Initialize mobile ads SDK and then the curly bracket. Copy it and come back and then paste it inside here. Again, you will see a lot of red code. How to fix that? Again, import the classes. And this can request ads is actually a method call. So make it ground brackets. It's a function basically. And we still need to create this method ourselves. So it will stay red, but just wait. And this, we can get rid of this error. Again, round brackets here. And you might also have an error here in tag. Tag is basically a way of identifying where the error occurred. So it's normally a string equal to the name of the activity. So if I go up, I already have the tag defined and it is equal to menu screen activities. So coming back down, almost all our errors are gone. We still need to create this function, but there's also another error here. Just put a semicolon here. Okay. Now we just need to make this function. It has already been done in the Google's guide. So just copy this initialize mobile ads SDK and make sure that you copy from this curly bracket to this curly bracket and come back here and paste it here. Make sure that it is inside the activity. All the errors are gone, okay? And this will work, okay? This will start working in UK and EA countries and the consent form will be shown there, okay? But if you are not satisfied and you want to see it working in front of you, there's a way to do that. First is that I am going to find the device ID. So if I go down in my guide, there's a testing here. So this request consent info update will trigger this message to show up. Okay. So I have to find my device hash ID when I run the app on my device by connecting it to Android Studio search for this okay in the log okay so how to do that i come back to android studio and i run the app my actual device is connected to android studio so i'm running the app you can hear my app running on my device and if i go to log cat and make sure that my actual device is selected here so all the log is coming here and paste that string that we copied from the guide and you can see that this is my test device id we have to use this for debugging and how can we see our consent form working so if i go back to my guide now go down and here where it says force a geography we want our app to behave as though the device was located in ea or uk okay so we have to force the geography so how to do that copy this code okay from here just copy it and come back and where we have made the method show consent form, we are building the params here. So just remove this part and paste the part that we copied. Again, we need to get rid of these errors by importing the files. And here we have to provide our device ID. So if I copy it from here, okay, paste it here, okay. And now if I run the app, it should show the consent form. So I'm going to run it now. 
As you can see, it is showing the consent message here. In case the consent form is not showing in your app, even after you have added these debug settings, then make sure that you are connected to the internet. And secondly, you have waited about 10 minutes after creating your message in AdMob, okay? Where we created the GDPR message, okay? Once you are satisfied, then this is super important that you remove this set consent debug settings, okay? So you remove this part and you're good to go, okay? You don't even need to remove this part, just remove the addition of the debug settings to your params, okay? And you're good to go, just generate your app bundle the way you normally do and publish your app to the Play Console and your warning will soon disappear and your app will start showing the consent form in UK and EA countries where it is required, okay? For apps in the Google Play designed for families program with mixed audience or only children as users, please see my pinned comment for this video. A disclaimer, this is just according to my understanding of GDPR requirement for children's apps. So I hope you liked this video and it was of help to you. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of the great projects that I have planned for you. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.